Welcome to another video about Figma and uh, in this video we are going to uh, discuss a very new feature of Figma which is interactive uh, components that is a really nice uh, feature and I will show you how to use that uh, in your prototypes in using Figma so let's get started and uh, sh I can s show you what we are going to actually um, let's see if I can fit it on the screen okay so here is a very simple to do app and this is what we are going to achieve with the interactive components so you can see if I click over here it is going to uh, turn to check and this text is changed to this strike out and you can do it to all of them or you can uncheck them like that so this is a very basic uh, interactive component you can create a lot of interactive components but this is the best example I can show you so um, the trick is that you have to create just one checkbox with a variant so then we are going to link those variants to create a prototype and it will work seamlessly uh, in your whole uh, Figma design so you can use that component anywhere variant component anywhere so let's get started and we are going to create a variant first so I will create a new frame over here and uh, this is very simple just we are going to grab a box let's create a 40 by 40 box and um, maybe we can create the width which should be some a bit more like 42 let's use this and uh, then we are going to use some rounded corners over here let's use 8 and then I'm going to use corner smoothing just to give it a little bit better touch let's zoom in and uh, here we have it let's change the fill color to uh, we are going to go into with this cyanish color so I'm going to use this for uh, the inner side or the fill fill and then we are going to give it a stroke of two and for the stroke we are going to give oops I, I need to go over here and we are going to give the same color but a bit darker side uh, let's use this okay so here we have it just a simple uh, rectangle let's call it a box let's use a text t and we are going to name it to do list item let's align it and let's use the gap of 16 over here so uh, let's change the text color to something else like maybe dark greenish black over here will do and uh, okay so we have our basic component ready over here we are going to uh, click both of them and uh, let's try to use auto layout over here so you can see as I shifted to auto layout it shifted the text over there so 16 is the gap between these two this is the padding let's add some padding we are adding padding two on all sides and in over here just click this middle one now you can see your text is aligned perfectly and uh, let's convert it to a component and we are going to call it list item now we are going to add a a variant to it so let's click over here and click on this variant and here we have another variant so you can see that is called default and that is variant 2 so before that we are going to click on this and change its property to uh, status and uh, for this default variant we are going to use um, unchecked or you can use true or false that's up to you 
so I'm going to use unchecked and for this one I'm going to use checked so our basic variant is ready we have to add an icon over here so I'm going to show you a trick control backslash uh, sorry forward slash or command forward slash to bring up this one so I'm going to use uh, icon remix icon let's use some other one lucid icons and we are going to find tick or check yes so this one we are going to bring into our design and drag it over here let's try to see uh, what is happening over here let's group, group them both just trying to pull it over here like this so you can see I put it uh, above the box and dragged it like that okay so we have our check over here right now and in this state we don't have any check box checked box so um, that is all now I think our check and unchecked to-do list is complete uh, we have to uh, do something over here which is change the color to grayish like this and uh, in the textile we have to use this decoration strike through so here we have our variant completed so this is our basic variant and uh, let's try to use it in an app so we are going to click on F frames let's use iPhone SE for now and we are going to use a heading over here today's to do let's make it 24 let's use 21 over here and use a medium let's use a bold over here okay so we are going to keep 36 on the left side and uh, maybe a little bit more 32 go to assets and here we have our to-do list item actually it's this one we created to-do list item uh, frame one yes so I'm going to drag and drop it over here so you can see this is our basic to-do list item and for, for this frame uh, it is looking a bit bigger but that's not a problem we are just trying to learn so we are going to change it over here mm, celebrate my birthday then we are going to replicate it over here and we are going to call it read 20 pages of a book oops so you have to select the whole one press alt option key to drag like that okay and I, I'm also pressing shift and holding shift so feed your lovely cats uh, I think that is all uh, now we have to add some uh, some illustration this is the one from icons 8 which I got free so I'm going to drag and drop it over here let's try to hold shift and alt and make it smaller like that let's make it a bit bigger larger over here and we are going to add some support text over here which is uh, you can also drag your uh, to do's 
to the next day if you haven't finished completed them so we are going to make it a bit smaller 14 and make the text a bit grayish like this this one looks good yes I think this one is perfect just give it the room a little bit and now we are going to click on this one and run the prototype and you can see over here nothing is happening so the magic is in actually in prototype so what we are going to do we are going to select our base variant where we actually create it go to prototype and when you click on uh, any uh, variant over here so this one is that if uh, unchecked so we have you can see over here uh, um, same connecting uh, position where we can connect connecting dot where we can connect to uh, sections or to screens to prototype so we are going to drag it and connect it to the next one and we will keep everything same just change the animation to smart animate ease out 300 milliseconds and we are going to do the same for this one to go back and the settings will be same so again we are going to run this prototype now Okay, so here we have the prototype and if you check you can see how this arrow appears and how this actually this is a very simple way this is a very thoughtful way of figma to create this these components these are really really nice additions you can create different button states uh, you can create different um, menus menus selections calendars anything you can easily create uh, interactive components where all these components actually uh, easy to manage so you can see this is just one variant and you can use it thousands of times in your design so that is all about uh, the interactive components in Figma I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial so I will meet you in another video till then take care bye bye